Hello, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Very good. And can you see me well, Fong? Yes. Yes. How are you tonight, Fong? It's day. How are you? Oh, are you okay? Yes. <laughs> Okay, that's really nice, Fong. Are you ready for the class? Yes, I'm ready. Very good. Ready. Very ready? <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm so ready. last time, Fong, very ready. Okay, that's really nice. Last time, we're done with lesson two. So tonight, today, I'm sorry. Today, we will have lesson three. Okay, let me get the lesson phrase, Fong. Wait a minute. So here, let's have Kids Box Flyers, Unit 1, Lesson 3. Okay, here you go, Fong. Please read. Kids Box... Uh, sorry, sorry. Kids Box Flyers, Unit 1, Welcome to our Design, Lesson 3, Reading. Okay, so by the way, Fong, this word, you don't say design, but it's uh, this is izin. Easy. Yes, easy and not design. Okay, Kids Box Flyers, Unit 1, welcome to our easy lesson 3, reading. Okay, so let's start with the first one. What's this? Review. Okay, very good, Fong. Let's have a quick review first. Okay, so here, Fong, you need to look and drag. Drag the things that you like and the things that you don't like. And then you need to make a sentence, okay? Make sentences after okay. dragging. You can start now, Fong. Mm. Um, what you do you mean the sentence? Oh, yes, okay. I'm done. Oh. So here is the structure. Okay, you need to use this structure. It should be subject plus like, love, like or love plus verb in ing or noun. Okay, let's start with the first one here. Make a sentence. I like science. Mm, very good. Next. I love eating fast food. I love watching cartoons. Next one. I love to travel. Oh, I'm sorry. I never, I didn't saw travel. Okay, next. I like learning history. Is it like learning? Why is it in here? It's like this button uh -oh. or this picture. I don't like learning history. I don't, I don't love to play badminton. Okay, you don't use to. You need to use v I, uh, verb ing again. I. I, I love, I, I don't like play badminton. Playing badminton. I don't With... like. Playing badminton. Very good. So don't forget the verb in ing form, okay? If it's a verb, you need to add ing. Very good. Fong, let's continue. In this lesson, Fong, we'll review, we will review vocabulary about school. And we will read about daily habits and hobbies. We will also read about favorite subjects. 
text. And for the table of contents, let's have introduction, reading, and summary, okay? Okay, so let's have number one, Fong. What's this? Introduction. Very good. So here you need to look at the picture and answer the question. So here, Fong, look at the picture carefully. Now let's try to answer the questions. Do you think they are friends? Yeah, I think they are friends. Why is that? But I read the uh, the English book, and this guy is, and this guy is eleven years old. Mm -hmm. And then. But I think they are friends. Yeah, they are friends. That's correct. Why do you think they're friends? Because. Because they. Uh. <laughs> what are they do? Uh, what are they doing? What do you think they're friends? They are talking to each other. Okay, very good. So, if you've got your friends, you and your friends also talked to each other, right? Like a group of friends, we talk with the things that we like, the things that we don't like. So, those uh, those are the things that friends are doing, okay? How about number two? Very good, Fong. So, what are they talking about? What do you think are they talking about? They are talking about play soccer. Yes, what else? And, and talking to a talking to a computer. Oh. <laughs> okay, they're talking about playing soccer. They're talking about computer and they are talking about the city school. Very good. Their school. So the school, the their school's name is City School. Very good. Now let's continue. Let's have number two. Fong, what's this? Reading. Very good. Let's have a quick reading part. Okay, so I want you to read and say. Please read this one, Fong. Kids box is an exciting news. Is in for young people. Let's meet the writers Dan, Alvin, and Shari. They all go to the same school. It's called City School. Very good. Okay, I want you to read about their life. I'm 11 years old. I always ride my bike to school. I sometimes have breakfast in the school breakfast club for my classes. I love playing football and basketball. I like to I like to write about sports and computer in the in the I'm ten. I live in a village outside the town, so I catch a bus to school every morning. I like singing and music. I love playing the guitar and the piano. I like to write about music and clothes in the easine. I'm Ken. I live near the school, so I walk in every day. I have lunch at school with my friends. I love drawing and taking photos. So I want to put my photo in the easine and write about the nature world. Okay, very good. Fun. Good job. So let's continue here. Okay, so for this one, Fong, I will give you one minute to look at this one. 
I want you to study this table. You can take down notes. You can write if you like, okay? So after taking down notes, we will answer about this kids, Alvin, Dan, and Sherry. So I will give you one minute. One minute to study this table. Okay, so first, before we answer, Fong, please read the table here. Age, hobbies, transport to school, ideas for exam, others. Alvin, 11, play football and basketball, bike, sport and computers have breakfast at school. 10. Sing, play the guitar and piano. Live outside the town. Draw, take photos on foot, walk. The natural, the natural world live near the school. Mm -hmm. Okay, so by the way, Fong, this word, we don't say natural. That's natural. Natural. Na natural. Natural. Again, what's that? Natural. Okay, natural. So this is nature, but this word is natural. Natural world. Okay, so here let's do this activity. I want you to circle the correct answers for one, two, three, four, five. You have options A and B. Okay, you can start now, Fong. Circle the correct answers. Why? I'm done. Okay, let us check your answers. Please read your answers. One, B, two, A. Okay, you, you read three, the sentences three. and then your answer. Alvin and Sherry are 10 years old. Fox. Dan lives outside the town. True. Alvin loves playing football and volleyball. False. Dan loves playing some musical instruments. True. Alvin, Dan, and Sherry write about different topics. True.
Okay, very good. So these are all correct. Very good. Pong. One, two, three, four, and five. So by the way, can you tell me why is number one false and number three false? Because Alvin is 11 years old and Sherry is 10 years old. Number three is Alvin loves to playing football and basketball, not volleyball. Okay, very good. That's why they are false. They are not correct. Okay, next for this activity, you need to choose the correct answer. Circle the correct words. Oh, you can start now. I'm done. Are you done? Okay, read your answers, Fong. We study the past in history, French, Spanish, and German all languages. When we don't understand a word, we can use a dictionary. We study plants and the human body in science. We learn about people and countries in geography. Teachers sometimes find out what we know by giving us exams. Okay, very good. So these are all correct. Good job, Fong. You've got six points for this. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's continue. So for this one, you need to read the text and tick true or cross false. Okay, please read Fong. From our first scene, we went around our school to find more about what we learned. We all studied these school subjects, maths, English, science, music, sport, art, and computer studies. All the students have to study more school subjects and take, and take important exams. In our geography lessons, we learned about different people and their countries. The best subject is history. We love learning about the past. And okay. now you need to take if it's true. And you need to cross if the answer is false. Okay, read your answer. At City School, they all study music, sports. All the students take important, more important exams. True, they think geography is better than history. False. Okay, two and three are correct. Number one, it should be true. It said here, we all study these subjects, math, science, English, music, sport, art, and computer studies. So the students all study music. That's true. Okay, let's proceed with the next one. Please read, Fong. We study a second language. We can choose French, German, Spanish, 
we study a second language, we can choose German, French, German, or Spanish. We use the dictionaries in the school library to help us to understand new words. Science is an important subject, so we do it every day. This year, we are learning about plants and the human body. We all agree the best thing about school at the moment is the new easy competition. We all want to win that prize. Okay, please answer four, five, and six. Okay, please read. They can choose a second language. Two, there are dictionaries in the classroom. False. They study science every day. True. Very good, Fong. You've got three points for this. Okay, so here let's talk about favorite subject. So, Fong, I will ask you questions. You need to use the structures here if you like, okay, in answering. So, we have the example here. Okay, please read the sample answer. My favorite subject at school is history. I love learning about the past. Okay, so how about you, Fong? What is your favorite subject and why? My favorite, my favorite subject is art because it, because I like to draw. I like drawing. Very good. My favorite subject is art because I love drawing. You like to draw pictures. Do you like to paint too? Yes. Very nice. So what are the usual things that you like to draw or paint, Fong? I like to draw a story. A story. It's like a book. Yes. Wow, you're really smart. So you can draw like a comic book, something? Yes. Wow, you're so talented. I don't know how to... Oh, I can draw, but that not. it's not really good. I can just draw some simple pictures. <laughs> and it's not really good. I'm not really good at drawing. Okay, but good job. Your favorite subject is art. Now let's continue. Let's have this part. Fong, what's this? It is story. Very good. Let's have story time. So here I will uh, play this. Uh, I will play a story. I want you to pay attention. Try to understand. You can take down note if you like. Okay. You can write, and then we will answer questions after. So I want you to pay attention with the story here. So here I will. Oh, uh, let's watch the story together. Wait a minute. Oh, no, I cannot click it. Oh, here you go. So, please. Let's watch. Dig, 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 dig every bones. See what's on the rocks and stones. Studying the past, archaeology. To understand our history.
Tropidus, <laughs> the biggest dinosaur. This is the last neck bone. <laughs> wow, it's almost 30 meters long. <laughs> How are your classes going in the School of Archaeology, Diggory? Fine, thanks, Dad. Uh. I'm teaching the history of language. My students are learning about the Rosetta Stone. Ah, the Rosetta Stone. It helped us to understand ancient languages. I'm also working on the Baloney Stone. It's an important new computer program. <coughs> Hello! Hello! Can you hear me? It's okay, Dad. It's my phone. Oh. Hello, Emily. Dad, come quickly. Somebody went into your classroom last night and took your computer. <gasps> no! The baloney stone program was on it. <coughs> oh. Okay, that's the end of the story. It's about Diggory Bone and his adventures. Now let's answer the last but question. But I have here. a question. Yeah, what is your question? Why is the why is the um the guy that the guy that uh building the bones needs a hammer and a paintbrush? Oh, it's not a uh, yeah. He needs a paintbrush because he's trying to clean the bone. Like he's sweeping, sweeping the dust away. And he needs a ladder. Oh, no, a hammer to fix it. Because the bones are really stiff. So they need to, uh, he needs to fit the bones in the perfect place. That's why he's like, chuk, 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 like this, doing this, <laughs> hammering it and sweeping the dust away. <laughs> okay, so let's answer here, Fong. You need to take if it's true and if it's false, you need to cross it. You can start now. Okay, let us check your answers. Please read Fong. So, Dodge is holding the neck bone. True. The model dinosaur is 40 meter, meter, meters, meters long. Fox. Meters long. Fox. Degrees to about Rosetta Stone. True, Rosetta Stone helped us to understand ancient language. Emily took Diggory's computer out of home last night. False, Diggory's computer has had the Baloney Stone program. Very good. True. These, are all, these are all correct. Very good form. 
Okay, let's have our summary. In this lesson, we review. Oh, these are wrong. <laughs> okay, so in this lesson, we read about, uh, we had our reading exercises. We had our review and also we read about um, school subjects at school and also Alvin, Dan, and Sherry. Then lastly, we watched the video degree bones and answer questions. And for your homework, don't forget to check LMS system phone. So that's it for today. We are we are up until page 25. Do you have any questions? Uh, I have. Oh, what's your question, Fong? What is the uh, what is a guy holding a hammer that um, knocking the dinosaur bone? What if the dinosaur bone breaks? <laughs> no, it doesn't. I think that is impossible because the dinosaur bones are very stiff. They are really strong. And also, it's, he is not hitting it so hard like this. It's just trying to fix it slowly just to connect bones to bones. So nothing to worry about <laughs> because they're doing... I think um, Diggory's dad is like an uh, archaeologist. They are collecting bones from dinosaurs and they're displaying it in a museum. <laughs> okay, so it's already time for I need to go. You did great, by the way. Good job. Don't forget to pronounce words in plural nouns. Don't forget to pronounce letter S. Like summer. Oh, no, no. Like um, juices or students or languages. So all of those plural nouns got S at the end. So you need to pronounce those, okay? You need to pronounce letter S properly. And also practice uh, making sentences using the correct uh, verb form, verb in ing form and noun. So that's it. Next time, Fong, we will have lesson four. Don't forget to study. I need to go. Bye-bye. Have a good day. See you next time. Goodbye, bye -bye, Fong. Teacher.